The following example you will hear is a simple demonstration of how inversion of the same idea occurs in a four-part fugue. You will hear the opening statement of each of the four voices, and then you will hear how inversion functions in this case. This fugue is the fifth fugue from Bach's Art of the Fugue. Notice the, the first two voices, the, the alto and the bass voice. The alto begins on the la. La, re, mi, fa, so, la. When the bass enters, he enters in his register on the re. Re, la, so, fa, mi, re. When the third voice, the soprano, enters, in its register, it appears to copy the bass and it enters also on the ray. Let's examine more closely the bass entrance which enters against the, the alto, who has finished stating the, the fugal theme, but continues as in a dialogue with the bass. I'll just play the entrance of the bass against the alto. Now, one thing you'll notice is when the soprano takes up the theme stated on the ray as the bass states it, the bass appears to take up the same kind of continuation of, of the theme as, as the alto. When the soprano enters on the ray, why, why couldn't the bass take up what the alto originally said against the bass's entry on its ray. All of the notes would be the same, merely a switch in the, in the voices. The bass now takes up what the alto stated, the same notes but in its register, and now the, what the bass originally stated is taken up by the soprano in its register. Here's what you what you hear when the bass and the alto are singing together. Well, let's try switching. Let's try having the soprano take up the bass's notes as notes 
and we'll give the bass the altos notes. All these notes have been heard in combination already and let's see how it will sound to hear them again. I don't remember hearing that before. And let's hear the original voicing with the theme in the bass against the alto. And now in our experimental rearrangement. Now let's hear what Bach actually does with the bass voice against the soprano. <laughs> 